Tommy Vassetti? Ha! <laughs> Shit! Didn't they never let him out? He kept his head down. Helps people forget. People will remember soon enough. When they see him walking down the streets of their neighborhoods, it will be bad for business. Well, what are we gonna do, Sonny? We treat him like an old friend and keep him busy out of town, okay? We've been talking about expanding down south, right? Vice City is 24 karat gold these days. The Colombians, the Mexicans, hell, even those Cuban refugees are cutting themselves a piece of some nice action. But it's all drugs, Sonny. None of the families will touch that shit. Times are changing. The families can't keep their backs turned while our enemies reap the rewards. So, we send someone down to do the dirty work for us and cut ourselves a nice, quiet slice, okay? Who's our contact down there? Ken Rosenberg, schmuck of a lawyer. How's he gonna hold Vercetti's leash? We don't need him to. We just set him loose in Vice City. We give him a little cash to get started, okay? Give it a few months. Then we go down. Pay him a little visit, right? See how he's doing. Uh, Ken Rosenberg here. Hey, hey, great, hey. Well, uh, I'm gonna drive you guys to the meet, okay? Now, I've talked to the suppliers, and they are very uh, keen to start a business relationship. So, uh, if all goes well, we should uh, be doing very nicely for ourselves, which is, you know, good. Okay, so, they're brothers, okay? One operates the, uh, the business, and the other one does the flying. Okay, that's them and the chopper. All right, here's the deal. They want a straight exchange on open ground. All right? Okay, stay tight, let's go. Got it? 100% pure grade A Colombian, my friend. Let me see it. The greens? 10s and 20s, used. I think we have a deal, my friend. <laughs> oh, shit! I poke my head out of the gutter for one freaking second and fate shovels shit in my face. Go get some sleep. What are you gonna do? I'll drop by your office tomorrow and we can start sorting this mess out. And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, this is JP Bowler 2. This with Galaxy Production 7. Of thank course. you very much, thank you. This is Vice City. Yes. This game is famous for many things, one of them being you can actually ride a bike. Here we go guys, bikes! Something that wasn't available in GTA 3. We are moving straight on from GTA 3, I don't know, in the pet, not, probably not in upload schedule, but in terms of you guys watching this. So, it's literally only been one day since we finished GTA 3, if yep. that. Oh lord. So Rob, what do you think of Vice City? I actually enjoyed it very much. This game improved on so many aspects that the first game did Handling's not. Handling's so much better. You can, you've got a map which puts up all the best places. And you start off with a bus. Buses were good. You start off with a bus? Yeah. Like remember in GTA 3 suddenly buses appeared? Oh. <laughs> I thought you meant you could start off in a bus. And the best thing about this, Tommy Vercetti, the main character, actually talks! Yeah, not like Claude. You don't fuck all. 
Well, he did a lot, he just didn't say anything. Those cassette tapes are save points. We're not going to save you. Not yet. We're going to go to our room, it looks like it. No, first mission, an old friend. Dun, dun, dun. Hello, Sonny. Tommy! Tommy, it's been too long. I know, I know. You're just overwhelmed with emotion. Fifteen years. Seems like only yesterday. I guess that's a perspective thing. Hey, doing time for the family is no piece of cake, but the family looks after its own, okay? So how'd the deal go down? You sitting on some white gold? Look, Sonny, we were set up. The deal was an ambush. Harry and Lee were dead. You better be kidding me, Tommy! Tell me you still got the money. No, Sonny. I don't have the money. That was my money, Tommy! My money! You better not be screwing me, Tommy, because you know I'm not a man to be screwed with. Wait, Sonny. You have my personal assurance that I'm going to get you your money back and the drugs, and I'm going to mail you the dicks of those responsible. Hey, I already know that. You're not a fool, Tommy, but I warn you, neither am I. If it was anybody else, you'd be dead already. But because it's you, because we got history, I'm going to let you have this. Look, Sonny, you got my word. I'll be in touch. Well, he was pissy. Press start. Go to display. Subtitles on. They were on there, that's what I don't get. I think they were on for like one bit, but that was about it. Alright. Back on with the game! Instead of a little safe house, that little indicator, which I'm guessing is a cassette tape, is where you want to go for to save. Yes. Let's go to the L blip. Faggio. Or Faggio. <laughs> this game just improved so much from GTA 3. Was this the direct sequel to it? Yes. So there wasn't a game between that and this? No, it went. GTA 3, Vice City, San Andreas, then 4. There's a lot of other GTA series, weren't there? Yeah, on the PSP, Liberty City Stories, Vice City Stories. All right, so we're just we're just gonna assume we're gonna just take the main consoles. Okay. Because we can't actually do a let's play on PSP. Well, theoretically we could, but I just don't have the equipment or the money to pay for it. Yeah. Nor do I want intend to. <laughs> anyway, this game just improved so much from GTA 3. The main character speaks, which is fucking fantastic. We have an actual map of the whole city instead of just the little blip. I know I've repeated that, but still, it's just an improvement. Why was that so hard to implement to the first game? I don't know. The party. Go get some sleep, he says. <laughs> I have been sitting in this chair all night with the lights off drinking coffee. This is a disaster. We are so screwed, man. These gorillas, listen to me, are gonna come down here and rip my head off. It's ri ridiculous. I did not go to law school for this. Okay, now what the hell are we gonna do? Shut up, sit down, relax. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. You're gonna find out who took our cocaine, and then we're gonna kill them. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh. There's this retired colonel, Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez. He's the one that helped me set up this deal well away from Vice City's established thugs, okay? Now listen, he's holding his party out in the bay on his expensive yacht, and all of Vice City's big players are gonna be there, okay? I have an invite, of course I have an invite, but there's no way that I'm going out there sticking my head out the door, no I way, not I told you, happen. shut up, I'll go myself. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I like 1978 too, but you know, this isn't gonna be a beer and strippers do. I mean, no offense, but I think that you might turn heads on the runway for the wrong reason. What's wrong with the way I'm dressed? Okay, look, here, stop by Raphael's. Tell him I sent you. He'll make you look respectable. Okay, go, come on. Who's that guy think he is? Now I gotta dress like a chump as well as hang out with them? I like this shirt. 
I know you didn't see it or hear it, but he made a snappy little line. What did he say? I think he was just questioning why, what's wrong with his clothes. You'll see it in the video. <laughs> to the clothes shop. Oh yeah, that's another thing, customizable clothes, which is... I think this is like the first time they did it, but... San Andreas took it a Oh, San Andreas took it and made it a lot better. This as one you, you only get as like... you can see, the lampposts are still... Still destructible, but you're in a bike. So... Plus you can high kick on this one. <laughs> God damn it, he's got strength. Raphael's. <clears throat> hey, how's it going? Hey, what's up? I'm Tommy for Sid. Nice bag. You gonna steal his bag? Hell yeah. What is the oh, point? No, my bag. Is it what is literally what is the point of that? Did they just give you it just for the sake of an extra bike or what? I don't know. <laughs> just nice bag. Because <laughs> you you can actually still go to the party without taking his bike, it's just you can't help but want to steal it. <laughs> what does it offers you in? I, I've never been too sure of the purpose, but what are you going to do? Uh, this this Let's Play is going to be a no-cheats run. <laughs> the start is we don't actually have the cheats. <laughs> Buenas noches! I understand you are here on the behalf of Mr. Rosenberg. I hope any recent problems have not affected his health or mental well-being, Mr. Versetti. He's just got a touch of agoraphobia. <laughs> excellent, excellent. And you? I just want my merchandise. Ah, it's an unfortunate set of circumstances for all involved. Of course, I have initiated my own lines of inquiry, but such a delicate matter will take time. Perhaps we'll talk later. Meanwhile, let me introduce you to my daughter. Miss Davis! Karamia, could you look after our guest while I attend to my necessary obligations? Of course, Daddy. Please, excuse me. Mercedes? You try living with it. Anyway, let me point out some of our more distinguished guests. That's our Congressman Alex Shrub with Rising Silicone Star. Candy sucks. And have you met my lovely wife, Laura? No? Well, uh, unfortunately, she's in Alabama. This is Candy. And over there, we have the Vice City Mamba's star titan, BJ. Always the charmer. I blocked down on him, and then I put him in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Well, now, I'm looking at some prime... Reason. And that poolside amphibian is Jez Torrent, lead singer with Love Fist. Yeah, can I tell you? Do you know how they play ping pong? In Thailand. Let me tell you. It does not involve a paddle, <laughs> if you know what. Impotent. And the chatty trio, that sleeping sweat gland is Papa's right-hand gimp, Gonzalez. And the other two are Pastor Richards and pseudo-intellectual film director Fish Steve Scott. The throws a passion with the Nympho invaders when the giant shark comes in and just bites their dicks off. And now, you never saw anything like that before. Colonel, your party's a devil, a triumph. <laughs> I can only apologize. Oh, the another amigo. How do we find you? <laughs> Our business is very dry. Barbarians at the gate. A time for rewarding one's friends and liquidating one's enemies, amigo. Who's the loudmouth? Ricardo Diaz. He's Mr. Cole. Mercedes! Oh, I was just taking my friend back into town. Another time, Ricardo. Ricardo, let's go. Let's get the out of here. Sure Actually, take me to the pole position. Drinks. Okay. <laughs> well, she's she's quick to get out of it. She's quite hot. It's not. It's almost like that entire cutscene was foreboding <laughs> all of the people we're going to be working for. Join me point. on my bike. Will you be working for my father? It's you and me together. Nothing's gonna stop us now. <laughs> You didn't pick her up, you were in the vehicle. <laughs> Bitch, please. <laughs> Excuse me. Get the fuck out of the way. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> come on. Did you just lose all the health? 
Yeah. Like you just got how? I don't know. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh god, Rob. Redundancy. What? Redundancy. Says the one I know. GTA three. They're getting the car that fucking is trapped and I know about it and Rob does not. What? Yeah, I'd shut up as well. No, I can't remember which one you're talking you about. You when you killed me in the fucking car. Oh, that was fun. No, it wasn't fun. Yeah, it was. You, you owe me and you're, I'm, you are in my debt. No, I'm not. I've repaid your debt like three times in the last last play. Shut up. No. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think you took like two turns. You took two deaths. You took, I repaid your own. did I fuck? You've got the video evidence, dude. <laughs> you can't lie about video evidence. I know the one that you were saying. That little spinny token is <laughs> is um, I, oh wow hundred pounds wow just a hundred dollars what a chip that little spinny indicator means you can actually buy them. buy the pl buy the place some places are mandatory for missions but that's like one or two places other places are just there f just for the sake of an extra safe house. Every house you buy becomes your new safe house. So that's something nice. I find it kind of cool that you're not just limited to the three safe houses you're given in the whole, the whole game. <laughs> this time you get to expand your property. In fact, I think that one there is your cheapest. Right across the street. Have a look. Let's see how much it is. Only three grand, so there you go. I think that is your cheapest place. Thank you. Back alley brawl. 